everyone and welcome to day two of the uh let's play of the secret world legends we're picking up right where i left off uh last night so i pretty much just ran over into this area and then stopped and that's where we kind of just left it so um, in a second here, we're going to jump in, as you can see up in this top left. Uh, so I became a patron for the game for 30 days uh, just to see like kind of what it's like. And then I'm probably not going to be playing it that long, to be honest. But I wanted to try to get the most of it. So if there is extra stuff, it looks like you get extra XP, uh, more ability points and skill points, things like that. It's not required because you can play the base game. But I wanted to try it out and see. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, with that, my current goal is to reach character level 12 over here uh, before we can do the next mission. So that's pretty much what we're going to be starting with. So, uh, this guy has a few quests actually too. First one being a Blessed sacred place. But doubly blessed are those who do the Lord's work boldly. It is through his grace that we find sanctuary in his house, when his house is besieged by, um, by zombies. zombies. Not to belittle the Lord's work, but perhaps <laughs> the Illuminated Ones made this place a safe place through some conjuration of theirs. Blessed by the Lord, of course, or at the very least tolerated. Whatever the providence of our sanctuary, it extends no further than the doorstep. Even the cemetery spills over with the devil's spawn. I've tried prayer, I've tried my 44, but Satan's wearing <laughs> Kevlar. And Bible thumping. Satan's wearing Kevlar. Pisses them off. Nice. I tried my Bible, I tried my 44. Okay, so you can only have one of those, but I think I can accept this one. Yeah. So right now, um, you can have one, what is it, attack mission? This one's a investigation mission, so I'll pick this one up too. King's Mouth Code. a book of secrets, an illuminated manuscript waiting for those who would read between the lines. I've seen it spelled out. For are we not seekers of knowledge, you and I? Even a man of God can have his eyes open to further enlightenment and illumination. To be illuminated under the eye. The pyramid? The Illuminati. I'm with the Illuminati. I don't have a badge oh. or anything like that. I'm what you might call a, uh, a hobbyist member. Hobbyist member. But I earned it. I did extensive research on the net. The code words I followed led me to forums, secret forums, forums that don't show up on Google. And I'm an avid poster, a valued poster. I know <laughs> there are paths in Kingsmouth, not on any map. Oh, right. The work of the Illuminati is everywhere. A secret gospel. We saw the sewers throughout the town. icon, Signs but we couldn't go formally. down there yet. That's why you're here, isn't it? Now, my work is not exhaustive. There are elements of their, of our grand plan I may have overlooked. Tiny, tiny details still left unexplored. I trust we have each other's disclosure. Okay. I was just checking to see if, like, I alt-tab, if, like, the audio still plays in the background or something, but... Unfortunately, it doesn't look like this game has that option. So, uh, that's kind of where we're at on that part. It says, follow the Illuminati symbols. This guy was in here last night, and he's still here. Christopher Martin. There's the symbol. Manhole cover. Lux Omenia. Is that an area? Oh, 
I also think that it nah oh it is free for patrons nice so yeah now I can actually fast travel for free as well uh which is cool so actually let me look over so one bonus cash key card uh cash key per day 20% bonus marks of favor from challenges 10% xp two times ability points and skills 15 bonus uh anima shards Unlimited free anima leaps and teleports, one dungeon key, one scenario, one lair, two times healing potion capacity, 50% uh, discount on healing potions, eight hour mission cooldowns, free global auction, house delivery, and access to Cabal Bank. Lux Ominia. Do I just keep following these? Wait, that one's pointing this way. Uh, is that saying they go this way? That one says the same thing. Same thing. We'll find out. If this actually works, I'm gonna be amazed. Um, I also found a little bit of a build last night, too. So I'm going to try to check that out today, too. It has to do with some of the abilities that I currently have equipped and what I can equip more of. I don't know how, like, realistic they still are nowadays, but I guess we'll see. I do kind of like that ability though, the unload, because it kind of just, you just press the button and then it just unloads. Oh God. Hey, this one says to go left here. Aha. Wow, I actually got to it. In the seat of power, the navigation immortalized, illuminating the path of the sleeping priest and the Fletcher in memory of Franz Hales who perished in light. Find the location referenced in the message. In the lighthouse? Is there a lighthouse? Yeah, there is. Right over there. That might be it down there. Okay. That's kind of cool. Is this a side quest right here? Abandoned ammo. Grab the ammo for Lady Margaret. Bring the ammo to Deputy Andy. So it seems like there's a lot of those. Like, bring the ammo to somebody. A lot of those types of quests, um... That's cool. I mean, it's nothing too crazy. It's probably just to give you that XP boost. Um... We also need to, whatever our other quest was, what was this one? Draw zombies. Oh, we want to draw zombies into the church? Really? I didn't know that part. Is 
They're chasing me. All right, come on in. Come on in, everybody. Free service. Whoa. Wait, what? How'd he set that up? Come on in. Okay. All right. I see what you got. Study the first illuminated Illuminati wor ward. Use Illuminati ward. Study the second one. Wait, how did I, what was the first one? Kind of confused. <laughs> Doc, where's the second one? Or father, where's the second one? Um. Strong enough to incinerate the zombies when entering the church. Locate the wards and study, study their imagery. Okay, so I'm guessing that's... Well, then I just need to find the second one. Is it around the place then? Oh, there's another one right here. Let me just do this real quick. Okay, so all right, I need to go back to this one. Uh, view or use Illuminati Ward. Study the second one. Study the third. Okay, so it probably goes around the entire place then. <laughs> There's the next. Oh god. Draw the first ward on the graveyard fence, draw the second on the graveyard fence, and then the third on the graveyard fence. Okay, so we just need to go around and write them on, on these, I guess. Robert Dexter survived by sons, Tom and William. There's probably so many Easter eggs in this game because they have so many references like to the real world. I'm sure there's tons. Shoot. Oh God. Wait. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely getting more AP now. Expect Henry Power Brower, illuminated entrepreneur. He saw the light. There's a Lord Britain or Bittern, Bittern, over in the uh, to the left of us. Oh God. Oh God, oh God.
Wait, I never finished setting up this one? Thought I did. Is it, it completed one of my objectives. again there we go I keep tapping E but it's F every time okay and then draw it on this uh, on the third ward and the graveyard fence Albert Slater 10th generation finish fisherman fathered more than more than what? Most to fill his shoes. Oh man. I had a feeling they were gonna come for me. All right, let's try putting this up before he comes after me. There it is. Kill the vengeful Hulk. Oh God. Wait, he just killed the, the other people. Nice. Mission report, that's complete. Wait, what was that? Okay, so we don't have any of those pieces. Oh, you see, you can actually see what's what when you look at it like this. Okay. Um, Cause they all have different symbols. So that's how you do that. Wait, does it actually push it on? Oh, so you can access this at any time. I didn't know that. Anubis mask. So I do have that unlocked. Gunslinger jacket what I'm wearing right now. Wait, is it actually? Leather bomber jacket? Oh, that's the gunslinger jacket. Wait, that's so funny how similar it is actually. <laughs> I'll wear the gunslinger jacket, that's fine. There's a Western tee, I'm not gonna wear that. Fashion distressed pants. No, thank you. That's why. Okay. That's why I had that top like that. I could wear this. That's actually not bad. I think I will. Or I could wear my purple slash white onesie. Is this from having Twitch Prime? It might from ha be from having Twitch. Modern cowboy. Weapon skins. What is the blood? Oh, the blood is the book. This guy, if I get that book, he's going to have a real John Constantine look to him. A lot of different uh, pistol looks to them too. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know that you could just change your outfit at any time like that. That's cool. Find location referenced in the message. Uh, let me go this way. I was wondering how you change your outfits.
kill the Zed Flamer Johnson. Uh, Edwin the Doc. Okay, so there's a bunch of them here. I'll grab the ones that are closest to me first then. There he is. Nice. It's one down. Leave me alone. Okay, and then these three are just like really close to each other. I'm, I'm really amazed how big this area is. Um, I think that part is really cool about all this. Just like the the size. So that means if, if this area is like this, then it can probably only get better um, with the rest of the locations. So that, that's really promising. Hippie camp. What is this? Oh, that's just the stuff that probably stops them from being able to come in. So we're just trying to get to level 12. Trying to get a lot of uh, AP points now too. Or at least them faster. Um, do we have enough to get like... Can we pull up whatever my guide was? That I had. Pistol as primary. So I'm going to have the... I might change it to making the pistols on my as my secondary actually i might do that and then get ready to use blood as my primary is blood damage though i guess yeah it is okay so if i use pistols as my secondary secondary target dual shot so that's the one that we're using right now. Um, special utility, clean slate. Let me actually unlock blood, can I? No, I don't have enough yet. Once I have enough up here, then I'll unlock it. Uh, secondary specialty, clean slate. That's this right here. Okay, so we'll have to unlock that. Elite trick shot. Do I have that unlocked? Or is that a uh, trick shot? Oh, wow. That one's all the way down here. AoE affects up to six enemies in five meter radius. Passive fixed game. Where is that one? Five, four. So it's five and then four right there. Fixed game. Uh, take time to rig the game in your favor. If you haven't used the path a pistol ability in the last four seconds, your next right chamber is going to match your left chamber. That's pretty cool. Uh, Sov Tech Harmonizers, any. Oh, that's for a secondary weapon. Okay. Well, then, right now, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about the... Uh, ability yet because we need more points anyways so need to find whoever is right here oh cannonball bill oh that's right there <laughs> i didn't realize it was this person nice Okay, that's another one down. Next one is going to be whoever is in this area. Wait, was that a zombie? Inside that? Hmm. 
There it is. Dead Eye Dan Williams. Yeah, that dual, that dual shot, which I changed over to my uh, left click ability, does a good amount of damage just for being a, a uh, like one shot target. Edwin the Doc. Wait, did I really kill? Wow, I killed him fast. I didn't realize he went down that quick. All right. The Irish tank. Is that Terry O'Reilly, the Irish tank? It is. There it is. Once again, Promoted. complete. Faction rank increase. Congratulations, rookie. Nice. Faction rank increased. How close are we to the? Where am I even? Oh, there I am. All the way over here. Find the location referenced in the message. Still have that quest. More bullets for Andy. We'll go do this one. Let's try leaping here. Nice. Did I not hand in the other one? Living. Oh, okay, I guess I can pick up these too. Oh, you have to place it into his action. This thing. There we go. Collect. Grab that. an alarm going off yeah I'm gonna go back over to the the uh, the church now and run into uh, the priest so far th this game is still pretty cool um, I was actually looking forward to jumping into it more today so must have completed the Kingsmith code and unlock the investigation mission by completing dawning of the endless night tier four. Kingsmith is not a town without dust its to dust. It's fallow seasons. In times past, these lands have borne bad fruit. The demons are plucking forgotten apples that should have been left to rot on the boughs of Kingsmith's tree, planted in unsanctified soil. By apples, I mean bodies. The tree represents, uh, graves, and the unsanctified soil means, well, unsanctified soil, unmarked graves, mass graves. The operated with rationale are illuminated ancestors. I'm sure of it. I mean, who am I to question these men of action? Those men of God. Even if they did stumble in their faith, well, that can happen to all of us. We forget to say grace. We lie. We cheat. We fornicate. We do worse. We have more this guy's a very accepting priest. Of past sins. Surprising. What they're digging up is something that should remain buried, hidden from inquisitive eyes and wagging tongues. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. All right, okay, an unmarked mass grave. Which 
We pretty much are John Constantine at this point. <laughs> Doing the bidding, getting rid of the undead. My question is, I don't know if every single area is going to be filled with more zombies like this, or if the enemy types are going to change per area that you're in. Kill charred remains and witch trial victims. Damn. Okay. All right. All right. We need to kill three more charred remains or witch trial. I'm only level 10 and I'm fighting a like, good amount of level uh, 11s already. Okay. All right, all right. Okay, the second mass grave and At least there's a path to this one. Another lore book up here. Yep, all the way at the top. Rog drones. Kill Blue Ridge, Forgotten, and Watchmen. So it's only the ones outside of the this dig site. It's interesting. The ones inside it are just like generic uh, return townies. Why are they making them dig? What are they trying to get? Getting tons of passives, or well, not tons of passives, tons of AP and SP though, which is nice. Kill the miners. <laughs> the people who were previously mining, not the other type of miners. <laughs> Suffocated miner. Damn, so these are like people that died without uh 
not like natural causes. Just need one more. There it is. What's this? Dismembered part of the infamous Resurrection Joe. Got an assault rifle. Oh, we have enough points now, but I don't have a blood a blood book yet. Uh, I joined Sanctuary last night. Let's see. Forget how you do it. Join Sanctuary. Wait, was that chat? Join Sanctuary? said hi I'm new where can I buy a weapon I don't have we'll see if I don't know if people still join it or not I know like sanctuary was like a uh community used like message system back in the day apparently but I don't know if it if that's still the case uh Let's see, King's Mouth Code. The Lighthouse. I mean, we can try going over there, I guess. So, down this road. in the auction house oh <laughs> you know what hi welcome in the auction house okay so if i just go up here and go to this weapon blood Blood magic focus, search. Efficiency, what is that? Blood magic focus, efficiency, recovery. Okay, cool. So if we choose one of these, I think we can use it. Uh, weapon power, weapon power. Increase your move speed in combat. Yeah, these are weapons, right? Recovery. They're only 99 too, which is nice. Efficiency. 
Your attacks and heals of this weapon have a 50% chance to reduce the mating cooldown time on your elite abilities. Maybe I will go um, use the this as a secondary then and use my pistols as the primary warding. Uh, which I'm going to ask which blood magic focus of blank is the DPS one. Of Havoc, I'm assuming it's going to be like Havoc or Destruction. The steel is 15% damage. Oh. Oh, they just have different stats. Recovery seems like it's going to be more health from it from heals. Okay. Increases protection while I think I, now I'm dumb. Now I'm dumb for asking. <laughs> warding. So warding is like uh, restoration. Okay, and then these are kind of getting into the area where I, I don't have enough money for them. Eld Eldritch Tomb of Alacrity. Mark two. 50 weapon damage. Your move speed is by increased by that. I'm going to try this. If I can, at least. Havoc, destruction, or energy. Okay. So then, does it instantly go into my... Take attachments? Is there a, like, a help? auction house the marketplace auction postal server send or receive mail to connect with other players not online exchange All right, I feel bad for asking so many questions. So I'm just going to Google this one. Secret World Legends. Where do items from Auction House go? At the bottom of the auction window for pickup. Oh, my purchases, claim purchase. Nice. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yo, it actually comes in and drops it off to you. All right, that's kind of neat. What? So if I put this as my primary, put this as a secondary. Oh, God. Okay, so now can we actually do the, uh, help, tutorials, blood magic. Speciality spotlight, blood magic. How does blood offering work? Use blood magic abilities to deal damage and increase your corruption level. 
Using blood magic to heal will instead increase your martyrdom level. Corruption increases the damage dealt by your abilities, while martyrdom increases the potency of all your heals. Both states consume your life energy to cast abilities. Be aware that a high corruption oh. or high martyrdom level will make it more difficult for you to be healed. Use these special abilities to reduce your corruption or martyrdom levels. Okay. I might honestly do use it as a secondary then. Stick to guns and then use it as a secondary. I feel like that might be a good route to go then. Uh, rune hex or active. Well, here, let's see. So if I open up this and I got active abilities, the primary is torment. Invoke the ritual pain on your target dealing 51 magic damage. Increases your corruption by two. Requires blood magic in your primary weapon slot. Okay. Uh, so that's your basic ability. Single target. Malfiction. That's this one. Consume five blood magic energy. And conjure, conjure a series of uh, bla playful runes which inflict 45 magical damage per hit. Dread Sigil is the multi-target one. Okay, right here. Uh, affects six enemies in a meter, five meter radius around the target. Special ability rune, rune hex. What happens if I use it as a secondary? Secondary single target would still be malfiction. Specialty rune hex again. Elite Eldritch Scourge. All right, I'm. I have a feeling I'm gonna like this. I'm gonna use it as a secondary, and then have my main weapon as my primary. So let's do this. Let's throw this down here. You not have more than one basic ability equipped. Oh, is this considered? Then what was the one that I had of this? Power ability? Is this a basic? Oh, okay. And what's this? Special ability? Oh! <laughs> so, here we go. So, these are all basics, then. No, never mind. Power. Special. Power. Elite. Okay, now I'm kind of confused. Basic. Power. Special. Special. All right, whatever, I guess. So we can't use this one. That's a power ability. Well, if I get rid of this, then we can use this, right? Yeah. Okay, let's unlock this dead sigil. And then I'll need two more AP to unlock Reap. My goal is to get this Malfiction one. Uh, okay. So, Malfiction. Then, if I go back to... Blood Blade Dual Pistols. Where's Dual Pistols? There it is. Primary, so primary basic is going to be hair trigger. Okay, I'm actually going to try this like that. Uh, the primary single target dual shot. That's what I have right there. Primary multi target controlled shot. I uh, don't think controlled shooting. One, two. Okay. That's for multi targets. Okay, now I see. Then I'm going to move this one over to one. 
And then I kind of would like to move Q and E to this, the hot bar instead. Active ability one. Like does four do anything or five? Yeah, I think I'd rather do that, honestly. Rather make it one, two, three, four. One. Yes. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. C and Z. Okay, yeah, I think I'd rather do that. All right, so if we're just, oh shoot, five and six. That's left click, right click. Unless so we just swapped them and made it. Oh, okay. It still sticks to that anyways. Left click, right click. That's cool. I don't know. I can't decide whether which one I'm going to use as a primary then. That's the hardest part. Which, which one do I want to do? The guns or the uh, blood magic? This blood magic looks kind of cool too. So hair triggers, basic, primary basic, then dual shot, controlled shooting, clean slate. as a special or a utility then trick shot or from your secondary then passives second wind we already have that one Beginner's luck, 4-1. We'll need 10 for that. Then heavy caliber rounds, that's this one. Win streak, 5-2, it's this one. And then uh, bamboozle, or from secondary. Malfiction, do I have that ability unlocked yet? No, okay, that's the one I was going for here. All right, so I'm gonna focus for Malfiction because that's the secondary single target one. Uh, then Rune Hex, then I'll focus on this one. And Elite, Eldritch Scourge. Passive, the only one that it really wants me to get as a passive is this. Arrow uh, inscribed with your rumor hex or deep secondary weapon Eldritch Tome. That's what I have, right? Yeah. Okay, let me swap these. There we go. Okay, we are good for now. Let's get some upgrades, or keep questing, I mean. Cool. I feel like this is going to be an interesting combo. 
Tomb Raider. Collect and examine the severed hand. Go to the graveyard. You know what? Let's try it. Damn. Okay, so that one is a good AOE ability. Search for Eric and Mindy's grave. <laughs> Eric and Mindy. Return the severed hand to the grave. Inspect Mr. Freezy's cap. I actually saw that guy not too long ago. Mr. Freezy, yeah, he's right there, that giant dude. He sees, I see his, uh, okay. Sweet. Okay, so what I want to try to do is get to the uh, lighthouse. I'll also pick up some of these quests while we're on our way there, though. Because some of these might level me up. Examine the phone. There's our phone. You are totally exaggerating over these wounds. Just crawl out over to the church and send the Hawthorne Seferance. Surveillance, you are right there. Find the hidden keypad. Dirty laundry. Okay. Thought we almost had it. Hidden keypad. They're gonna be on the front or the sides. Oh God! Wait. Okay. <laughs> now I just realized that those bullets bounce off of them too when I use that ability. You can only equip, equip, uh, oh, and I can't use torment because you can only use the basic ability if you're using it as your primary, I guess. Is that correct? Not have more than one primary, basic primary. But I thought I don't have one though. Power ability, blood magic focus power ability, pistol special, power ability, power ability. Oh, 
Oh, for this one, you have to put it as your your primary. All right, where's this keypad at? So it looks like we have a. You ranked up. You reached level ten. You really nailed this one. Keep this up, and there's a place on the winning team when the dust clears. Press I to view your new title. You've been added to the activity finder. Shift V. You unlocked the Polaris dungeon story mode PVP. Free agents, any role? That's cool. We have a new idol too. Rookie. Sure. Find the hidden keypad. Is under the stone right in front of the church. The code for it is the first song you plan to sing on Sunday. I'm forwarding this to someone else. Right under the stone in front of the church. Oh, is it under this? Huh? Uh. Can I talk to him and ask him? The church. My child, Kingsmith Congregational is always open these days. Especially now, my flock is considerably reduced. But even if we had holy water, I'm afraid it would have run dry by now. Stone right in front of the church. Is this it? Loose stone. Hidden keypad. Uh, uh, the first song he would plan to sing on Sunday. All right, where? There's got to be a place in here that shows like songs. Ah, uh, is it on this board? Now. What's the first song he would sing on a Sunday? Mr. Hawthorne, what is the first song you would sing on a Sunday? Please. This is no Armageddon. I hope you're not disappointed. The Mayans might have blocked it in on their calendars, but we have enough of heaven and earth illuminated to us to know better. God bless the internet. Knowledge is power, especially with Google on your side. <laughs> I love this. Look at the churchyard there, chewed up like Susie's clam chowder. I've been keeping a head count. Blessings to readminister, plots to be returfed, other unfortunate logistical problems. All right, that doesn't really help me yet. Maybe they have it on the board, like in front of the church. Sunday worship, 10 a.m. What's the first song? The 
code for the keypad is the first song he planned to sing on Sunday. According to this to someone else in five, you know what that means. The first song he plans to sing. Five, seven, six. I saw those numbers earlier, but I didn't think anything of it. Okay. Five, seven, six. Here we go. Got it. <laughs> nice. That's pretty cool. Book of Warding. Okay. Now we're going to try to go to... So once I hit 12, I'll be able to go down this thing. When I stopped, we were right in front of this house. And it told me that the next area you have to be level 12 for. So we were getting there. King's Court. I'm actually going to go this way. This leads us to the, the uh, lighthouse. Francis Eaton. What are you chasing me for? The Book of Voodoo. Sure. Who do you voodoo? Gather dry bleach and sand. Dry bleach sand. Gather pumpkin seeds. Gather potting mix. Are you chasing me? Alright, we grab that. Wait, can they actually jump gates? No, but they're smart enough to go around them. Dry bleach sand. It's a lost cell phone right there too. Here's some. Yo, what's going on, Dev? Control means seven days to die. You could say something like that. This game has been out for a very long time. It's actually an MMO. Um, but uh, there's typically like less than a less than 200 players playing at one time. So I wanted to play it because I've always heard the story is very good before the uh, the game ends up ev eventually being shut down, whenever it happens. The other cool thing is this game is kind of like set in the real world. Obviously like not 100%, but it's meant to be like uh, different districts of time frames and uh, you can join the Illuminati, the Templars, or this uh, faction called the Dragons. And I joined the Illuminati. Find a large and open fire. So it's pretty neat, honestly. There's a lot of lore to it as well. Name sounds familiar. I've I've probably mentioned it before, if it was for me or, or something else. Quick access inventory updated. 
Apply the powder to a turned local. Oh boy. Wait, how do I uh, shift one to use it? That might be it. Yeah, it might be. Nice. BRB, sounds good. Alright, I'm gonna keep running to the uh, lighthouse. Bed and breakfast. Suicide note. A note is pinned to the door. It reads, I lost my husband of a week, only a week to the fog. All the calls and walking into the sea like so many others. Why was I spared? I don't know why. But living without him now, I just don't. Uh, I will go to the pier to save him or join him. Go to the end of the pier. Let me guess. Faithful. It says faithful husband. Pistol. Uh, dual pistols of alacrity. Why the dual pistols of something else right now? Hey, what's going on, Ashley? Ashley Callis. Hope your stream is as well as your day is going phenomenally. In case no one told you today, you're amazing. Thank you very much. Um, I hope you're doing well as well. And thank you for stopping by for the lure. I appreciate it. Journey's end. Let's see what we got. I'm still amazed at how open this area is. Like we, we started all the way over here, running down this road, and then we went all the way up here I didn't even go to the island yet. We went all the way up here. Like there's so much to it. It's it's pretty crazy. Very cool though. Oof. Lady Margaret. Oh shit. Deranged Spectre. Be gone, beast! I was using the wrong ability the whole time. Take the pendant.
Okay, if I see if I can get up here. There it goes. Collect mission rewards. Let's do upgrade and upgrade this. Uh, okay, I'm gonna hold that then Liking the rounded square thing you got going on. Oh this. Th oh, thanks Pat. <laughs> I was like wait what and then I was like ah, I see I see Hola Oh, I was using I know why it wasn't working have to use these, which are weapons. Hola. Try upgrading this. Upgrade this one time. Can this be upgraded? Yes. Cool. Welcome to the secret world, Pat. Secret world legends. Right now, this is me. I have two guns and a book. I'm basically John Constantine. Pretty much at this rate because I can summon blood magic and then I can also do the shooty shooties. I used to have a shotgun. Now I have this. Um, all right. And then I'm also trying to solve some puzzles. So in the seat of the power of navigation or mortalized illuminating the path to the sleeping priest and the Fletcher in memory of the friend halls who perished in light. Wait, is this at the lighthouse? No, that's not the lighthouse. Wait, where am I? No, I am at the lighthouse. Wait, is this the lighthouse? And then for some reason, there's a helicopter flying over us. Crap, I have to run back up there again. That does look like a lighthouse, though. I'm back. Welcome back. What up, Dev? The boys unite. I'm level 11. I need to get to level 12 to be able to do the next story mission. Also, what the hell? Uh, you know, I could click Q. Wait, what? Wait, what? V changes your view. Is it shift V? Yeah, I can queue up for a story mode dungeon. Somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean, wreathed with strange weed and eldritch fog lies a warped place, a floating graveyard of corpses. One of the corpses floated home and it brought death to the fog of Solomon Island. Sign up. Oh. Um. Oh. Okay. Wow, that was fast. 
Holy crap. Local bounty detected. Initiating. Other players. Y'all knew? <laughs> Wait, no, he's level 13. He's level 13. Yep. Find the location referenced in the message. First time here. Same. <laughs> That's funny. Wait, are we using the same abilities? Me and this guy? No, he has a, he's just a gunslinger. Gonna unlock this ability real quick. Right, right there. Must have at least one basic ability. I'm confused. It doesn't let me. Oh, I think I know why. Yeah, remnant vibes. That's what I was thinking, too. God, <laughs> I ran so much into that water there. Wait, what? I don't have any basic abilities equipped. Guess I can use that? No valid targets in range? Okay. Congrats on defeating your first dungeon boss. All keys will be completely refilled every day for free. If you run out, receive more keys by trading marks with favors. Open. Wait, was that it? Was that the dungeon boss? <laughs> Did they just kill it without me? Analysis. Highly volatile biological material. Avoid close proximity.
Cutscene. Okay, so they killed a boss. Oh God. Okay, I want to switch that. Whatever happened to the game you just bought? Soon enough. I wanted to play this though, cause like, I, you really don't know how long this game's gonna be around for and Dark Souls is gonna be around for a while probably. So. My biggest fear is this game dying before I ever played it. So, this game is somehow still alive today as an MMO. And I'm kind of still on that MMO like uh, want right now after playing like, I would be playing more Final Fantasy, but I'm waiting on, you know, the patch, uh, world transfers and stuff. Apparently, the next uh, episode, which is probably next week, they're going to be talking about server stuff, supposedly. Grabbing this lore real quick. Yeah, same. Yeah, that's a, another big thing. I want to play with you and, and Rebel. Once the server transfers are up. Or world transfers. Especially because, like, we're so close in level right now. Like, it's perfect. And once we're able to log in at a decent time, uh, then it'll be even easier. Gotta get those extreme trial mounts. Put you to work when we play. That's fine. <laughs> 
Same. Same. I don't even know what any of this stuff that we're getting right now is. What, like hard trials and stuff? Like more intent? Is it actually called like extreme trials? Because I don't know. I don't really know anything about that, to be honest. Okay. I you, maybe you probably just keep getting them as you progress. That's my guess. You beat all the ones on extreme for each, I think you get a really cool mount. Yeah, we'll have plenty of uh, plenty of people to run stuff with. I know Yobex and pretty much anyone else in the uh, in Rebel. They run stuff together, like whenever there's a chance. Exactly. <laughs> Locate the shipwreck. This is a pretty cool, like, standard entrance to the game. Or, I mean, dungeon. I don't know why I said entrance. I don't think they will, because a lot of them have been playing for a very long time. Like, I'm sure some people take breaks, but, like, a lot of them have been playing for a very long time. It's like their their game. That one game that they're always like logged into. Not for all of them, but for some of them. Yep. It's nice to take breaks though. Oh jeez. Friday is uh God of War and then my plan is to pretty much play that Friday night and then Saturday and then Sunday also. Oh God. And I'm also off on Monday, so. I 
I think it's too long of a game to beat beat it that fast. And I might honestly do some side content. Cause that game's probably gonna feel so good on PC. Like I'm gonna take my time with it. Not rush it like crazy, but like have a chill playthrough at least. They're still struggling from what I hear. They're still what? What do you mean? God, what is, keeps happening? Fingers crossed, I'm hoping it's not like Horizon's port. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> yep, I missed that part. I could have sworn, I don't know why, but I kept reading over it and I was like, ah, yes. Board the helicopter. And we're out. Oh shit, wait, is that not over? Oh, there's more. Oh, oh boy. Kill the dungeon's guardian. <laughs> That's funny, we were both to like, all right, thanks, see ya. That was pretty cool. Guys getting chased by it. Probably running for his life. Dear God, no, no, no. attack until back to reality.
same thing it looks like <laughs> I saw that they have different run animation styles in this game. Like, you can do the Naruto run, which is pretty funny. Okay, so we're supposed to kill those. Pistol energy. There it is. Uh oh. Oh no. We almost have him. Wait. Did we kill him? Synergizing Fist Empowerment Crystal. Sweet. That one was pretty cool. That uh that dungeon was neat. I like how it put us into the uh the air like that together. In the helicopter and then it dropped us off after. What is this? Oh, a new shotgun. Okay, so this increases your health. When used to uh, empower a fist weapon, increase XP gained by 30%. <laughs> wow, 
fallen human. What the heck? Why am I going so slow? Okay. Uh, yeah, now I don't know why I got distracted there. All right. So let's equip this. Or can I not equip this? Oh, these two would do the same thing. Critical empowerment results. Okay. Uh, talisman. This is a talisman. Waist talisman. Gadget. Neck talisman. Whenever you lose health below 50% of your maximum health, your protection is increased by that for seconds. When you heal an ally who is below that, you have a 15% chance to grant, uh, one energy for the weapon which did the healing. I'm gonna take this one. Oops. Upgrade. Okay, so this automatically gives you 400 XP to a weapon. This also gives you talisman. Which one's better? Either one. Some of the XP will be lost when the item is destroyed. Are you sure you want to do this? Sure. Not really going to use that again. Hey, what's going on, Wayne? How are you liking the game so far? It's pretty good. Um, I'm having fun with it. Definitely. It's uh, unique, you know? It's got some uh, uniqueness to it, so it's a, it's a good time, though. I really like the environments and, like, the story. I think those are, like, the two the core things that have been the coolest so far. What just happened? I just did my first dungeon too in the game, which is neat. Finished the main part of the ARR last night, now working on post ARR. Nice. How'd you like that so far? King's Mouth Code. I'm going to look this up. Name the plaque on the ground, go there. Year two. Are there enough people playing the game to do dungeons with? Love the ARR finale. Last two dungeons were epic. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, there are enough people. Surprisingly, I actually queued up and instantly it dropped me into one. So I, I was pretty surprised by that.
Um, but yeah, that, that part was pretty neat. And it was like a, a cool Cthulhu battle type thing. Um, Find the location referenced in the message. In the seat. Our navigation. Find the location referenced in the message. It doesn't, it's not even in the message. What? Tier one, tier two. May need to try this game. I mean, it's free to play, so there's that. Um, there's no shorter of, a, of volunteers for burning. In the... In the seat of power. Town hall. Uh, now the question is, where's the town hall? Might be this right here. Yeah, I think that's it right there. Yeah, let's keep running. I also have a lot of AP, so I need to use that. Now that we have so much. Yep, this is the town hall. Find the location referenced in the clue.
No matter we're good to see on supply. Is this a clue? There's only one way to find out. So now. We pull up the map, can we see? Okay, so now I'm just gonna look this one up because <laughs> this is gonna take forever. No mariner will go to sea on supply to go to the marine supplies located at 432. 432. 528. Five two eight. Is that right here? Uh three four eight. No, four three two three four eight. Four three two three four eight. Okay, so that's right outside then. I never would have expected this. Yep, there it is. Return to the town hall. Gone skating. Okay. Find the next hidden location. Oh, we're on tier three. Time is provenance of kings and gods. Of the path is open to enlightenment. I think there's a house. Yeah, the house next to the church. I'm assuming the one that's lit up like that. It's a one two zero. Enter the basement. Yeah, I kept seeing it show up. Use the computer. So this is like an Illuminati cellar. Use secure message. Safe being. Oh. 
collect the eye artifact, the pyramid artifact, and the phoenix artifact. Nice. All right, that one was pretty cool. Sweet. Okay, let me do some of these because uh, we have so many passive skills are available. Um, so, let's see. Passive 2 4. One of the ones it wants me to get is uh, 2 4. That Paro. Yeah, this one. Eldritch Tome. Okay, and then if we go to Dual Pistols. Yeah, let's go to the Dual Pistols one. Um, second Wind, zero and zero. Yep, we have that one. Uh, beginner's Lock, four, one. Uh, yeah, I didn't unlock this yet. Then the next one it wants me to get is Heavy Caliber. Or three. Or Wind Streak is also another one. Whenever you have a matching set of chambers, the bonus dealt is increased. I'll start my way down there. Oh, only 8 AP. Malfiction is the next ability I need to unlock. What does Reap do? Okay. Bud. Single second target that so you can only use either a hair trigger dual shot a, a basic ability so what happens if I got rid of this and then put this one Oh, blood magic focus in your primary weapon slot. Ah. Okay, but you don't have to use the basics. It just means that that ability has to be in your primary weapon slot for you to be able to use it. Now I see it. Okay, hey, let me leave this place. Yes. Okay, chat. I'm going to run in here. And then real quick, I need to go to the bathroom and take my dog out. And then we'll continue. So I will be right back. I'm just going to put it on BRB real quick. <laughs> 